Hi, it's Elder. Welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to build pricing tables, this ability to switch between the monthly and annual pricing. So uh, without further ado, let's open blocks project and I will quickly create. Oh, actually, let me start this blocks templates website. It will work too. And although I will never do subscription pricing for blocks template, let's try to apply it here to this project. Okay, so we have the regular pricing for blocks templates and let's add another block above it and I will create a couple of rows right away, one for heading of this title uh, of this block and one for actual pricing options. So let's add the pricing information, simple and affordable pricing I will make that well let's make it black and let's make it bold and let's say we have some kind of text here check our cool and amazing pricing I mean you don't have to do that but I just can't build something which is not looking good okay and we will have a button we can do that many ways actually I will show you a couple of ways we can do that uh, first of all let's try to just add one button which will work as switcher between the monthly and annual pricing we can build like two buttons we can build like tabs we can make just links which will switch automatically i mean i will start with just a single button and when we will see if i will have enough time in this tutorial to show you some other options so Let's uh, let's just name it. We'll switch. We'll just type monthly, annual like that. For now, I will just leave it like that, and I will apply some cool-looking button like that. Looks fine. So I will build the options. And by the way, I'm not going to optimize it for all breakpoints. It will just take too long. So I will build one option first. I will duplicate that just under that and I will type 100 and instead of month I will replace this this year like that so by default I want to show the let's say monthly yeah let's say the monthly pricing so I will disable the visibility for the annual pricing like that so now if we go to preview, of course, we will only see the we'll only see the yeah, monthly pricing, tier one, feature one, two, three, four, and the pricing. Now, let's actually add some padding here. Let's say that we have three tires. Let's make them like that. So tire two and tire number three. And this will be $12 per month or 120 per year. Usually this is how they do that, two month free. Or tire number three will be 15 per month or 150 per year. Now, what I need to do is add IDs to all of the elements I want to change. So uh, this is tire one monthly pricing. So I will go, I will select the H3 brick, which is the pricing. I will go to the sidebar and give this ID tire 1M, tire 1 monthly pricing. For this, I will add tire 1A annual pricing. And you can do whatever you want, actually. It's not very important. Just make sure that you remember what you type because you will need it later. Tire 2 annual here as well. Let's go tire 3 monthly and tire free annual like that so now the only thing we need to do is select our button and we will switch interaction type to toggle visibility and here we will type everything we just typed in ids like that so we have six ids put into target id field for interactions now, I think we can go to preview and test it, how it looks. Let's go to preview mode. 
and yeah this is the monthly pricing as you can see we have month 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 and then we just click on this button it will this cool animation change to annual pricing like that very cool we tried the buttons now let's do the text I will be just using the regular regular paragraph brick like this and I will type pay annually annually like that we will switch that and under this let's add another one and type pay monthly so this is the new elements we need to take care of so by default we will hide the monthly and once again we need to add IDs to both of these elements so PA and this will be PM pay manually monthly I guess so now we need to select the pay annually and once again we go to toggle visibility well I should have just copied that but okay I will type all of the IDs all of the IDs we have once again okay and finally we need to add pay A and pay M because we need to change the switch button as well so uh, let's go to preview mode once again if we click to join it will bring us here okay right now it says pay annually and we have well for now it's monthly but if I want to pay annually I click here and it will change not only the pricing but the button with the link as well you can see it now says pay manually uh, monthly and once again I can see that I didn't add the same I need to add all of the same target IDs to the second link as well because when we switch to the annual view manual monthly view we will have to be able to switch back if we want let's go back to preview mode and once again we click on pay annually and we switch to annual pricing we click on pay monthly and we switch to monthly pricing so this is very easy but at the same time very useful technique you can use and once again this is a different type of tutorial i will just uh, try to do that time to time on a regular basis to answer the questions of my students and my friends who are using blogs but if you want the structured and uh, well complete guide to using blogs app check out the blogs master website where i have hundreds of tutorials available for you so if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and i will answer them as soon as i can Thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you in the next one.